The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 413. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the founder of Lank Private Limited, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Cherin Tan. Cherin, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi. Hi, Sheena. Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, so I'm actually run an interior design firm. Uh, we have an office here in Singapore and um, in Thailand as well. And um, I guess what's interesting about us is, you know, like it's built upon my personal drive to kind of make a difference in the interior design industry. So it's less about aesthetics. I mean, it's not just about aesthetics, but it's also a lot about creating an experience uh, with the people we work with. And, you know, it's a lot about value in the project. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what's your cultural background? So, uh, I'm Singaporean and I'm 100% Chinese. Thanks for sharing that. And Jaren, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Well, it's one from the Bible. And um, it's actually one that um, has stuck with me for many years. And that she's called with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. Thanks for sharing that quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? It's, well, I don't think that self-confidence is kind of like a a marriage of having the ability to love yourself and also to be able to think about yourself in any situation or circumstances positively and also being certain that you are someone of positive values and powerful capabilities and purpose. Thanks for sharing that great definition. I always believe that first it's the ability to love yourself. It's really important to do that and everything else will fall into place. So thanks for sharing that. And what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Well, I guess I kind of revolved my life around um, everybody else's priorities except my own. And everybody's opinions mattered a lot more than my own as well. And it was emotionally very unhealthy after a certain extent and And there was no ability of comprehending what personal value was or what self-love was, actually. So, you know, I just kind of figured that that's not where I thought my life should be. And and I was quite an unhappy person. So I think um, the idea of happiness was pretty foreign then. Yeah, so that was before the discovery of self-confidence. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we all can go through, right? Especially, you know, caring about what other people think and, you know, being taught that we should put our others like the we should put others first before putting ourselves which sometimes can't be good because we have to you know learn to love ourselves take care of ourselves first in order for us to love others and take care of others in the process and what was that point in your life when you realized you know you didn't you were you can go out there and you know have your own happiness and have that confidence to do what you do today what was that aha moment well i guess after a while you just kind of realize like you know why am i doing so much for for everyone and I, i'm still not happy and, and i guess you know, I just kind of realized one day that enough was enough. And it was just kind of, I wouldn't say it was one exact aha moment, but it was more like it gradually you start to realize that the better care you take uh, for yourself, the, the, the better things become for you, you know. It's just um, you don't conform to people's expectations, you know. You realize that you can't please everybody out there and it's just your life and you just got to be living it the way you want it body, mind, soul, and, you know, just every aspect of that. So I kind of made a decision and I just gave myself some loving. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And I think sometimes there's just like a breaking point where we, like you mentioned, realize enough is enough. And we just, you know, start to go out there and do our own thing. And, you know, because of that realization, what's your life been like now? I think I've been focusing a lot lesser on um, material things like, you know, is this job earning me enough money? Do we have enough jobs coming in? You know, is the, is the work award winning? You know, things like that. And like, oh, is my, is my house big enough? You know, less on that and really a lot more about just finding purpose and meaning in life. So it's a lot about the daily moments and like, you know, just a lot more about processes now for me. 
So I guess these new, new qualities are those that I'm embracing right now. And I can say that life doesn't really get any easier. It's, but, you know, having found self-confidence, is your perspective changes, you know. So everything is just a lot more doable. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, sometimes a lot of people measure their success on material things. And, you know, sometimes it's good and sometimes it isn't good because it's like, you know, what is like you mentioned, what is your purpose here on life? Is it, you know, the fancy cars or the fancy houses or is it changing people's lives? And I think when, when we focus on our purpose, life becomes a lot better and it's just a lot easier. So or not easy, like just easier flowing, I guess. And and, you know, and it's great. So I'm glad you're able to do that. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I think self-confidence is not something that you get following some guidebook in life. It's just a decision that you make for yourself and believing that it is a part of who you are and that you have full control of how you want your life to Thanks for sharing that. And I like that you mentioned, you know, making decisions for yourself, because especially as Asian women, we're so afraid to make our own decisions, right? We're, we're afraid of making bad decisions, but, you know, it doesn't matter good or bad. When you can make your own decision, like, it just makes a huge difference. You know, just that ability to make a decision for yourself is just like a huge aha moment on its own. So thanks for sharing that. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yes, uh, my social media handle on Instagram is Cherin underscore Tan, and our company's website is www.lank.com.sg. So that's L W A N K. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Cherine, you can also have a, head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence.com and search for Cherine's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Cherine for taking the time today to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. It was great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free audiobook by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.